Welcome to a morning mech attack, the show that's designed to wake you up if you haven't got any children. <laughs> Better music, 5SE, 27 past 6. Good morning, it's a morning mech attack with Graham Mack. Whoa, I'm the Taffer Girl. Good morning, Graham Mack. Graham? Yeah? Have you had a call in for a lost St. Bernard dog? No, I've had a, I've had a, a collie that was found. Well, well, she's reckoned it was a collie. Yeah. Black and tan. I don't think she'd get a, a collie confused but, with the same. No. Bernard. Is he purebred, is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it'd be pretty obvious, wouldn't He's it? He's the one on that Noel Bar ad. Is he really? Yeah. Oh, what a shame. He's cute. He's cute, all right, but he won't be bloody cute when we find him. <laughs> What's no. his name? Bo. Bo. Yeah, yeah, Bo one. <laughs> no, honestly, it's Bo, B-O-W, that's the name he of He even it. knows how to say his name. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Bo! 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 Here's Mariah Carey anytime you need a friend from her Music Box album, which has sold over 20 million copies worldwide. This isn't one of those copies because we got it for free from Sony Music. Have you got uh, this morning's Border Watch? Got mine with me here. It's confirmed my suspicions. You see, I've always wondered about people who shoot firearms for sport. You know, they keep telling us that it, they don't do it because it's a macho thing and they, you know, they want to kill things and they want to just, you know, show how powerful they are by shooting off these things. We're told that it's a, it's a sport and it's a test of skill and patience and, and accuracy. This morning's Border Watch. The Mac Gambia Pistol Club, what they do once a month is they dress up in Wild West costumes. They wear Stetsons, bandanas and holsters. And they change their day-to-day -day names. Some of the day-to-day -day names that have been changed at the Mangambia Pistol Club are... We, we've got people called Hopalong, Cheyenne, this is a good one, The Gambian. G'day, I'm The Gambian. <laughs> we don't take too kindly to strangers in these shoe parts, stranger. My favourite is a guy whose real name is Phil Hannon. He's the secretary of them. Phil Hannon. Hello, my name's Phil Hannon. Uh huh. His alter ego is the Mexican hombre, El Condor. But of course, it's a test of skill and accuracy and patience. We all know that, don't we? <laughs> I wonder if they use that cowboy expression. Well, stick your hands up, you bum. <laughs> good morning, Graham Mack. Yeah, good day. Hello. That St. Bernard you had on. Yeah? Lost. Yeah? I've seen it yesterday. Where was he? Out the front of my place. Where, where do you live? Mount Percy Road. All right, and which he which direction did he head in? Well, when we left, we left met here to go down to Carpenter's Rocks, and he'd gone sort of down Percy Road and onto the dirt road, and he was just sitting there on the corner. What time was this yesterday? Oh, it was early, yeah. It was about lunchtime. Okay, thanks for the call. We'll see if we can track him down. People in the southeast are waking up and smashing their radios. Why is that? It's all because of you. I've been undressed by kings. Hang on a sec. Did she? Hang on. No, just stop there. Did she say she'd been undressed by kings? <laughs> Well, she said she'd been undressed by kings. I've been undressed by kings. She did? Oh, shocking. Things that a woman ain't supposed to see. Good morning, Graham Mack. Hello, did you get that number for the St. Bernard's dog? Yes, I've got it for we, you. We've had a signing here at Mount Shank. I don't know whether, whether it would be that one or not. He's been sighted in Mount Shank. Yeah. The plot thickens. Yeah, All right, what? we'll see if we can track him down. You know, the pokies are up and running at the Globe Hotel. Call in for a game and at the same time... Same time... <laughs> 
If you'd like to hear me pronounce this correctly, send $20 to Teach Graham Mac to Talk, care of this radio station. After the news today, oh boy, I heard a silly man on 5SC. They say his name is Graham Mack. Well, I just had to laugh. I've seen his photograph. Why do I turn him on? Better music. Five SE. Good morning, Graham Mac. Good morning. We've just been going across the Dartmoor Bridge and there's a uh, great big dog on the bridge. <laughs> there he yeah. is. The missing celebrity, the, the mi St. Bernard dog yeah. from the Noel Bar ad. Yeah. So he's on the bridge. He's on the bridge and he he's, doesn't know which way to go. Oh, he's all lost, that poor he's thing. He's all lost, yes. And there's no way you can pick him up. Oh, we couldn't stop on the bridge, mate. We oh, couldn't fair stop enough. on the bridge. All right, well, it looks like the mystery has been solved. For now. For now, unless For he... Now. Now, Unless he wanders off before someone gets close yeah, to him. There was a youth coming up behind me now. He might have stopped and picked him up. Okay, all, all right. right. Yeah, well, he's probably listening anyway, and he'll pull over and tell me if he has. Oh, okay, no worries. Well, thanks for the call. I really no. appreciate it. No problem. Thank you. See ya. Bye. <laughs> Hi, it's Sue calling from the Journalist Program. How are you? I'm all right, Sue. How are you? I'm well, thanks. Can I get a quick weather check? What's your top for the day? 20. Top off 20, and... Fine or overcast. Cool with showers, Sue. Okay. How's Big John? He's very well, thank you. Has he asked about me? No, not today. <laughs> well, what a shame, because he likes me. I know. <laughs> do, you know do you know what he said about me? No, what did he say? Once I did something and John said... Graham did tremendously well. I think he's terrific. I love his sense of humour. And he's a, he's a very nice human being. But sometimes I... Can't quite tell whether he means it or whether he doesn't mean it. I love it. Okay. <laughs> we all listen to Graham Mac Show on the radio. Graham Mac Show. Better, mu better music. 5 SE. Good morning, Graham Mac, pet detective. Hey, Graham. Yes, who's yeah. this? Anthony. Hello, Anthony. What can I do for you? I'm calling about that dog. Have you found him? In the phone box at Winnock, and he's got me bailed up in it. Who has the dog? Yeah, I can't it's... get out. <laughs> he, he looks a bit more like Cujo at the moment, though. <laughs> well, just hang on there and we'll see if we can get someone to your rescue. Okay. Okay, Th Bye. thanks for the call. See ya. Better Music 5SC, here's Madonna who turned 36 last week. This song's got a bit of a bouncy rhythm. I don't think it's a love song. I didn't think it was. I'm Mac, I'm back, I'm on your dial. Turn me on in the morning and I'll make you smile. Lock it in to 963, because this is Better Music 5SE. Good morning, Graham Mac, pet detective. Macca? Yeah? This is a lady with the St. Bernard again now. Yeah? I think they should have you getting, trying to find Christopher Skate. <laughs> You're brilliant. <laughs> you know, it was only two degrees overnight. Right now it's three degrees. Still going to be a, a bit nipple. Oh, oh. I can see that, Raquel. Don't turn around too quick. You'll take somebody's eye out with those. 963 5SE. Graham Mack. Yeah. Graham Mack, this is the XY Gym and Fitness Centre. We were just listening to the radio here. Yeah. We got guys doing bench presses, doing weights, and I just <laughs> heard your last song, and everybody just about killed themselves laughing and dropping <laughs> weights all over the place. <laughs> and you did the same thing to us last week. You did something ridiculous, and they all <laughs> fell about laughing, plates going everywhere. It's a morning Mac attack with Graham Mack. What's this you've given me, Eric? Oh, this is interesting. Results of the Millicent Sheepdog Trials. Here they are. Here's the results. Not guilty. <laughs> Good morning, Graham Mack. Good morning. Who's this? How are you? Good. Well, I rang you before on the Dartmoor Bridge. You're near there. Yeah? Well... I think you might have lost his dog. Why? Where's he gone this time? Well, we just, uh, we're just we just travelling to Melbourne now. Yeah. And, um, just past here and there, and this brand new uh, Land Cruiser from Nobar has got this bloody great dog in the back. 
and I assume it's the same one. You reckon it's the, you reckon it's the same dog? Yeah, well. Which, which way which way is the Land Cruiser heading? He's heading towards Melbourne, and there's a little sign that said, "Go to Tassie, see you in a fortnight." <laughs> It doesn't look good. It doesn't look good. But I appreciate the call. All right. Thank you. See ya. Perry Como is 83 today. Remember his big hit? I'll never forget the smell of the sweat from under your armpit. It's sound essential. Good morning, Dee. Good morning, Graham. How are the you? The Pocket Rockets. <clears throat> yes, the Pocket Rockets here. I'm going really good. Now, where are you? Are you just in <laughs> jeans or... I'm in Justin Jeans. Okay. <laughs> what have we got at Justin Jeans? 26 Red has just arrived in our shop, and I tell you, if you're hip, cool, trendy with it, you know. I'm hip with the jive. <laughs> we've got striped skivvies, we've got t shirts, we've got long sleeve tees, we've even for the ladies, we've got crop tops with velour cuff and collar. Woo! <laughs> we've got ladies' crop cardigans that you could wear undone and done up. They've got stripes around the. A crop cardigan? You can't tuck that in, can you? That's no, that's right. It shows a bit of the midriff. Does it show off the navel? Oh, yes. Holy dooly. You could do a bit of a Janet Jackson. Oh, you could. Actually, definitely. Have, have you seen a close-up of Janet Jackson's navel? No. It's on the album cover, like, because she's famous for the navel, right? <laughs> but the thing looks like a cat's bottom. Oh, my goodness. It does. <laughs> so, look out for that, ladies. Perhaps pop in, grab some catalogues off Andrea, and we can show you what's coming. There you go, Gray. How's that? Be hip, stay <laughs> live, and be hip to the jive. Remember, you'll be the topic of hot gossip if you're just in jeans. Bye.